happening everyone uh, thanks for checking out the video once again um, this is an evening ride I don't I don't really ride too much in the evenings as you know by my from my videos but I, I figured I'd switch it up a little bit and um, get on the road that's why the video kind of looks weird right now because I I thought I was gonna you know leave a little bit later but I got on the road a little earlier than anticipated so I have my GoPro ca camera set to um, some settings that are more suitable for evening rides so that's why it's, it, you can't see the sky and some of that right now it's a little washed out so sorry about that but it gets better as the once I get into the city and the Sun starts going down a little bit more um, it, the video starts to gain a little bit better um, aesthetics to it so it'll look better but yeah this is a ride um <clears throat> that i want to do it's nice having a, a bike where you can just go around traffic isn't it that's awesome i don't do that too much but these people sit like you know 10 feet back from the um red light and it's nice you can just squeeze around them i know in other countries you know the, the folks that watch from you know thailand and places like that it's just common practice to weave in and out of traffic and people you know don't like that in america honestly they they'll they'll get some road rage going if you try to go between cars like see like where i'm at now going down this road you know like in some of the um, asian countries like you'll just go i forget what it's called but they just go right between the cars in the middle yeah you try to do that in america yeah good luck people open car doors on you they don't care they get very sensitive about that for some odd reason like they feel like oh my gosh you're gonna scratch my car so don't do that you know it's just a different mindset here in America um, very just strange behavior where people don't like you passing them I mean I've seen road rage just when a car patches they don't like being passed it's just kind of that selfish attitude where everybody wants to be in the lead or whatever so anyway enough of that but yeah don't do that here if, if you ever come from a uh, Thailand or you know other countries where you you ride between traffic there don't attempt it here you'll probably um you know may, may wind up getting in a fist fight or something no it's, it's i'm not kidding you it's not a good thing to do here in america i don't know why that is but it's just not um so i was even hesitant to go around that car at the red light because i've when i've done it before i've had cars honk at me like they don't like that like what are you doing i'm like i'm not gonna hit your car don't worry Jeez. so anyway this is the city of hamilton um not too far from my home and it's kind of cool because the city of hamilton is really making a comeback as far as um, upgraded restaurants and it's becoming a nice little they call it chic town um, a lot of young business people like maybe 20 something you know right out of college a lot of them moved to this city and the really nice apartments and these little studio apartments um, are gaining quite a popularity and it's becoming a nice little town little quaint little town with a lot of restaurants a lot of bars um, <clears throat> they have an amphitheater that is down here that I'm going to be passing um, big field amphitheater they have live concerts all the time so it, it's really transitioning into a nice little town and we're fortunate to live no kidding like 10 minutes from here so I like to hop on the ADV 150 and just go and like I'm doing tonight and just this is like a Saturday night I believe it was um, and then we just you know this is on the left here is where the big courtyard is for people that want to come up and just you know picnic or and then the amphitheaters over there too and it's right along the river so it's a nice little area I mean you have some houses that are older you know some of these homes are over a hundred years old but you know they're starting to renovate those too and um, yeah it's pretty cool but here on the on the left and I stay close to the, the the city because if you start venturing away from the city it gets a little little shady in some of those areas so I'm pretty safe around here but there's the river on the right and yeah it's really nice so anyway enough of that but I, I am gonna invest in the um, in in helmet mic setup so look for that coming soon where i can actually you know have the correspondence not correspondence but the uh, commentary during the actual rides and i've, I've noticed um, it's really something i've been wanting to do for a long time 
and I'll, I'll have that coming soon. I just have some other expenses right now that I can't get exactly what I want at the moment because I just bought a, um, a windshield, a taller windscreen for this bike that I mentioned in my previous video. And that's not going to be coming probably for, I don't know, I just got an update today, maybe two, three weeks. So I think that comes from um, Thailand or somewhere like that. It's, it's, I bought it off Amazon, but anyway, it's, it's going to take a little while to get here. I think it just shipped today or yesterday that I got a notice, notification. So yeah, this is this, the little town of Hamilton, Ohio. I don't know the pop, population, but it, it's not, not a lot. It's still a small, very small town. And I would say Hamilton is probably, um, I would say 35, 40 minutes north of the city of Cincinnati, okay? If you want to put that in perspective. So if you look up Cincinnati, Ohio on a map, Hamilton is about 35, depending on how fast you drive, north of that. So pretty cool. restaurant here on the right um, actually we're going to be going there I think next weekend um, coming up to eat so again there's <clears throat> there's all kind of restaurants new new establishments that are being open around here you know renovating the old buildings like I said because they've been here for over a hundred years most of them anywhere that that's a nice vet in front of me it looks like um, that was really cool sounded sweet so you see all kind of things. Um, just it's a very nice night. It's actually cooler. So it's been um, man. The other day it was like 105. Felt like 105, you know, because of the humidity. And that's not even fun riding on a motorcycle because when it's a when it feels like 105 out, you you just feel like you're literally in a sauna, and it's ridiculous. So this today was a little cooler. <clears throat> we had a little comp. Uh, front come through and I think the temperature um, during this ride was um, under 80 degrees so it was like I think high 70s mid 70s so that was like perfect 
So I'm just enjoying this evening riding around. One thing I did notice is, remember I had that um, key fob blinking issue the other last week? Well, it's back again. Now I've changed batteries in both fobs. Now I was using my original key fob, so what I'm gonna try to do is just get that one out of the, out of the picture and only carry the other key fob, because I'm trying to determine I don't think it's batteries now since I replaced batteries in both of them so I might have a defective key fob and I don't know what to do about that I might maybe Honda maybe the dealership will help me out with something like that I have no idea how expensive those are um, but if it's a defective key fob then you would think I don't know I, I think it's out of warranty I don't I don't really think you have any warranty on and like maybe like 30 days on any of the little accessories that come with the bike so I'll call the dealership and see what they think, but I have to, you know, test to see if the key fob is bad or if it's something else. So um, we shall see. But I'm not really too concerned about the blinking light. You can see it on my LCD indicator. That's that key fob light again. So, you know, if anybody knows what that is or if you've had that issue, I'd be all ears because I don't know at this point unless it's a defective fob or you know is it something and you know I really can't tell right now until I just get that one out of the out of the equation you know and just start riding around with my new fob or my other fob I should say but yeah so that's about it I don't know what's causing that it's a little aggravating but you know I just I'm just a little nervous when I go out with this thing because I don't you know you can't start this bike like I said without the fob it it, it it's insane Unless you, unless you can tell me differently, I might be just not missing something. But I don't think, if you can't turn that ignition switch, you're not going to be able to start this bike. And that's scary. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. Like I said before in other videos, I'd rather just much have a hard key. Because um, I don't really like, because I'm a, I'm a technology guy. I mean, I, I work at Technology Help Desk, so I know how aggravating technology can be at times. And I think if you just keep things simple like the old key style I mean the key fob is cool because yeah you can just hop on the bike and turn the thing and go but at the same time you got to think about emergencies because it is battery operated I don't like that but anyway but you know those are things you don't really think about at the time and at the time they're they're selling points because they seem attractive to people and oh it's got to look cool you can you know lock your bike from a distance and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but then when you get down to it, you know, look at all the vehicles that we drive that have issues with power windows. You know, anytime you introduce electronic into things, it it, it has a tendency to fail. Um, so I'm not, I'd rather just have a key on this. But so yeah, I'm just driving around the city. I, I might be kind of going in circles here a little bit, but that's okay. I, I was trying to, I was hoping it would be a little darker by now, but man, it, it does, the sun doesn't set where I am till like 8.30 at night. There was another bike, but it's a beautiful night just to drive around and um, and check out the sights and yeah, really cool little town.
I believe that's a YMCA on the left there. Very old one. Oh, again, over 100 years old. Um, so yeah, I did want to mention, which and there's the studio apartments again right here on the left. So I'm kind of going around a little bit of circle here, but I just wanted to kind of show the different areas of Hamilton and, and some really cool architecture in this uh, little town because of the, you know, the churches that are over 100 years old and all these things. It's very neat. I actually did some photo shooting sessions when I um, did some work for people. I, I'm a kind of hobby photographer too, and I've done it most of my life. So I'd come up here and, you know, get some photo opportunities in with some of the older buildings and nice backdrops and things. So that's that was always fun. I don't really shoot photography too much anymore because um, now that I have the YouTube channel and the bike, it's kind of opened up a whole new kind of a different world for me. So I enjoy this just as well. I, I still enjoy photography, but not as much as I enjoy this right now. You know how it is. So I, I do the photography here and there but I really don't have the gear for it I, I mean I got by with my photography stuff but I really never had the lenses and stuff that I would really want to get those you know really super crisp clear photos you know it is what it is I mean some of these lenses are fifteen thousand dollars it's insane and I really don't want to spend that on a hobby you know now if I was doing it professionally yeah it'd be a different story you'd, you'd almost have to play the game and get that but I don't, so I just wanted to pull over here and take a little stop, put my jacket on. It's actually, you know, when the sun goes down and you're riding a motorcycle, it gets cool very quickly, you know. So I brought a jacket, and it's nice to have the, the seat compartment that has a little storage. I don't have a box yet on the back, but I might get one down the road. Um, but for now, I just keep everything under the seat. And so I'll just throw my jacket on here and um, coming up there's this really cool trek that's coming by me um, after I get my jacket on. You'll see it and I don't know what it is. It's some type of three-wheel vehicle and the guy's got it. It's coming up here I think. Nope that's not it yet. But the guy has it um, kind of modified and it's got some lights around it and stuff and it's really sweet looking. Man he had the the music blare and I can't play the music because I'd have a copyright hit on my channel but he had the um, the music playing pretty loudly in this thing when it passes me and I think it's coming up here on yeah here it is check this out <laughs> that is sweet I don't know if it's a Riker or something to that extent but he's got really cool LED lights on it that he's put in and installed and that's the sweetest looking thing I've seen in a long time. That's what she said. But no, it's really neat. And he, he was, uh, like I said, blaring the music and got a nice deep bass to it. So um, it, it kind of looks like a Riker, but I'm not real familiar with the three-wheeled vehicles. You know, the trikes too much. But whatever it was, that is pretty sweet. And the guy looked real familiar. I don't know, but I don't know for some reason he looks familiar. And I, I don't know what he does or who he is but anyway I thought that was pretty cool he's just like me cruising around you know that thing definitely gets the attention especially when you're blaring your music at like a hundred twenty decibels oh my goodness so I could feel the bass when he was going by me um, definitely likes to show it off whatever vehicle that is right but hey it's cool you got it flaunt it right show it off man I don't care but yeah I, I kind of felt kind of creepy following him so I think he was like man get off my tail will ya so I wanted to get close enough where, where the camera would see it, but you know, when you got this fisheye or this wide angle view on, um, yeah, he's probably like, okay, quit following me. So he's kind of pulling off there and slowing down a little bit, but so I didn't want to keep creeping on him. So, but that was cool. Anyway, I thought I'd share that. Um, so you see all kind of stuff when you're driving around cities, and it's kind of, you know, turning into like a more of an upscale little quaint town. It's really cool. Um, it's completely revamped itself, I would say, probably in the last decade or maybe even the last five years. It's, con it's really done a nice transition and a lot of these buildings and stuff were just, you know, getting older and it, it really needed a facelift and boy, they've done a good job. I mean, hell, every week you see a new restaurant um, that will spot like, wow, another restaurant opened up. Hey, now they're converting this whole, you know, my son actually rented an apartment here that was an old insurance company. Um, 
so they made it they turned a you know completely just redid the whole inside and made them studio apartments and he he had an apartment there for about a year and then he just bought his um first home so with the interest rates that low it just made no sense to rent anymore so he actually is paying the same amount buying a house um so that's a good deal but anyway um yeah i wanted to talk to you about something else here and i'll, I'll get back to that shortly but enjoy the ride So now the, the sky is finally um, getting to the point where I thought it would look in the video. But see, I, I like I said, I left the house a little bit too early. And uh, the camera settings were just not good for the brighter light. But now it's starting to gel and it's starting to look really nice. So, And it's going to continue to improve here in the video, so don't worry. But uh, I was too lazy to really mess with the settings. You know, once you get on the road and you start putting your GoPro and, and getting it set up on your helmet. Man, the last thing you want to do is fumble with all that, even at a stop. So now it's starting to look good. But this the settings for the evening and night are ideal um, in this mode. And if anyone's interested, just shoot me an email and I can go over that with anybody um, separately. But most people really don't pay much you know, attention to the settings and stuff unless you're 
got your own channel and stuff so it's not you know I, I used to include that in the video but I don't think really honestly too many people are interested in that kind of stuff but it's there if you need it let me know anyway um, long story short I, I'm pretty excited because I found a um, some groups online actually um, Jim City Scooter Club and there's another one um, where these folks get together and ride as a group and just kind of travel the local area you know maybe 100 miles 50 miles 150 miles and sometimes there's longer trips so that's going to be cool I, I started communicating with some of the people that um, run those um, facilities and not really facilities but run those groups you know um, so that'll be cool and I asked if I could get permission to film some of the trips so um, probably sounds like I may be able to again I'm not I don't care one way or another if some people don't like to be on camera but I can always you know be considerate to those and I always would ask first but if, if somebody doesn't want to be on camera I would definitely uh, be conscious about that and edit that part out but so yeah that'll be exciting because um, I don't have many videos as you know writing in groups at all I have you know my son and his friend was the only two times I really rode with other bikes so um, look forward to that I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to get some video content in the near future um, with the group that I ride with and you know I can help them out if they want any type of promo or anything like that I'd be willing to help no problem but some people you know really aren't interested in that and they want to keep it small which is totally understandable so kind of have to feel that part out first but again it's the, the rain, main reason I wanted to look for a, a moto club you know to ride with is just to so I could get out more you know and, and see the area and, and take these trips that I would no, not even maybe think about so that's that um, well I'll let it go I'll let you guys go for now I'll just let you enjoy the scenery some beautiful skies here now and this is uh, called Bridgewater Falls this is the local area that we live near where all the shopping is so I'll let you, I'll let you go and then any questions make sure hit me up on on email or you know leave comments below and thanks again for tuning in
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Really nice colors of the sky. Stay tuned for more videos and make sure you subscribe, okay? Thanks.